Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Um, today I am doing a build on my island of Honeybell. And I've got this space right next to my resident services that I wanted to do something with. Um, it previously used to be a little sitting area park. And what I decided to put here was an outdoor library. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, don't tempt me gift floating over my head. <laughs> I think I think I, I get the urge that I want to knock it out of the air, but I'm gonna I'm gonna not this time, guys. <laughs> do you ever do that? <laughs> Anyways, um, back to our decorating. I have started off um, by using a path. It's an in-game path right here that I laid out. It's just the wood, the wood in-game path, and I just sort of wanted that to be the foundation. And I went ahead and did that ahead of time. But yeah, let me show you what I've got in my pockets. We're using a lot of items today for this build. So we'll just kind of go over them briefly. Um, we're gonna need a whole bunch of wooden bookshelves. Um, I think I have about 10 in my pocket, but of course it's gonna depend on what space you guys are working with. Um, we've got a couple of study chairs, a double sofa, an ancient statue, um, two wooden block shelves, a couple of floor lamps, a globe, we're going to be using about three of the basic teacher's desks, a birdcage, um, a couple of rattan table lamps, a fan palm, an ironwood cart. Um, we've got a couple of antique console tables that we'll be using in the darker color, a tiny library, a low rattan table, and three modern office chairs. There are a few other items over here off to the side which we'll go over as we build um, because like I said, I've got a lot of items to use today. Um, but yeah, basically um, when I decided to, to build this, I wanted it to be outdoors. Um, and I'm doing the tall wooden bookshelves because they're sort of gonna serve as walls. Um, to sort of frame in the library. So I'm gonna first place these all sort of around the outside to frame the outside of the library. And we'll put this one down here, like that. And then we'll go to this side and we'll do the same thing on this side so it looks the same. back over here so it's even just like that and you're just gonna kind of want to push them together so that they serve as both bookshelves for the books and walls to sort of enclose everything in I think I'm actually gonna pull this one one square out there we go um, these bookshelves are great. I've seen a lot of people use them for a lot of other builds as well. Um, I guess in my mind the obvious use for the build today was because it's a library it would be perfect. Um, but they do come in um, three different colors I believe. This one is sort of like the brown or walnut color with just sort of the basic um, earth tone I guess <laughs> books on the shelves there's also a darker color um, shelf it's almost like between a black and a very very dark brown and I love that one as well um, I chose to go with this one and then the other one is super cute so if you were looking to maybe go for like a girly aesthetic something more cutesy there's a white version of this bookshelf that I love and it's got all kinds of pastel colored books um, showing on those so that's also another option if you sort of decided you wanted to create a space for your island that is more of a girly version of this library build. I'm just sort of looking around to see how I want to set this up. Um, I'm going to be using other pieces of furniture to sort of serve also as the walls um, for the outside of this. So. Just sort of look at the space that you're working with. Um, mine being sort of like an upside down L shelf uh, shape, I had to be very creative about how I wanted to lay it out. So it won't be like a big square, like some setups, like what you might choose to do, but I just sort of was working with the space that I had. Um, I'm gonna place these wooden block shelves, um, block bookshelves down here next. I decided to customize them in this lighter wood color so they sort of matched the larger bookshelves. And then to enclose this back part, I'm gonna put a, a double sofa down just to sort of 
and close everything. And then I'm gonna place um, for decoration here, I'm gonna do, let's see, um, a globe on this side. And then on this side, I wanted to place I think we're gonna do the ancient statue. It's just a small statue that you can get from digging up your fossils and having them assessed by blathers. So yeah, I thought that sort of had a <laughs> library sort of look to it. Now this part is gonna be tricky. Um, I decided when I was looking at this area, I wanted this back area behind resident services to have an opening so that my villagers would have a way to get in and out and walk through the library. So I'm gonna be keeping this one section um, where I'm standing open and I wanna make sure there's a pathway large enough that um, myself or my villagers can walk through. So it might take me a minute here. I'm just gonna sort of looking for things to put on the table. <laughs> I think we're gonna do let's see I just I want to make sure it will fit so just sort of move your things around um, the great thing about decorating in this game is that if you don't like how something looks or you can't quite squeeze through like this <laughs> like you can see I'm struggling um, just you know work work around it move things around give it a test um, it's kind of nice that you can undo anything that you do in this game <laughs> just sort of trying to decide how I want to set this up to give myself ample space so that we can fit everything we want in this build. So bear with me. Let's see. One of the things I love about this is that um, I really think that the the game producers did a great job making these in-game paths. Um, I've used this wooden in-game path a lot. Um, I love that it's got a warm tone and it sort of gives that look that you're indoors um, when you're actually outdoors. So I, I found it to be really helpful whenever I'm building spaces that are outside that are sort of meant to be indoor spaces. But there's so many cool custom design paths out there, guys, that there's so many cre creative and talented makers out there that are able to come up with some really, really cool pathing, things like that. Um, I just decided um, to use the end game path in this because it sort of coordinates with some of the other spaces that I've created outdoors on the island, so I wanted it to be more consistent. All right, so now that I've struggled for a good while with this one, um, I'm just trying to get the placement right. Th this item that I've placed here is actually an ironwood table. Um, it's quite a large item, and I believe you can place three items on it. I had it in mind for the library because I, th I thought it reminded me a lot of the giant study desks that they use in spaces like this at libraries. But unfortunately, um, I guess it's a little bit bigger than what I anticipated, so I'm just sort of replacing some of these bookshelves because I wanted them... Um, I wanted them to serve as walls again, but I also wanted it to be even so that I could fit all the furniture I wanted in here. And this build actually has a ton of furniture in it, so every square counts, guys. <laughs> and it looks like Fauna's hanging out here. Um, must be lunchtime, because look at her, she's got her cute little sandwich. I just love that. She's one of my favorite villagers. It's like every time I look at her sweet little face, um, I get a smile. Do you guys have a villager on your island that you feel that way about? <laughs> if you do, I'd love to hear from you. Leave it in the comments and tell me who your favorite villager is that you have right now. All right, so I think we're ready to go now, finally. So now that we've got our ironwood table placed, what I'm trying to do is I want to put a study chair back here just so there's a little place to sit. Put a homework, um, uh, <laughs> homework set right here just because that makes sense that someone would be studying in the library. I'm going to put a study chair here. And again, this build is quite a challenging one as far as fitting the most items I can in a smaller space. 
So I do apologize. I know it's taking me a minute to get everything situated here, but I promise you it'll be worth it in the end. So I'm gonna place my study chair. to move this here for a second just to sort of spin it around and it should go a little faster after this guys once I'm able to get this placed so we've got our homework set on our ironwood table and our study chair and I'm just gonna go around and push this in just to make sure there's a pathway there so people can get through and then I'm gonna put a couple of other items here on the table um, I've got a book which comes in a few different designs. I picked the one that's got the cute little butterflies on it. And I think for this one, I'm just gonna put an unfinished puzzle here. I think another cute option um, would be one of those pop-up books that uh, I think was a holiday item for the end of the year. That one would be really cute there as well. <laughs> And this one here, it's one of the tall floor lamps. I do have it customized with one of the sable patterns. It's just sort of like a blue Moroccan print. I wanted to add a little bit of color to this. So I decided to customize the lampshade, but you could totally leave it plain if you wanted to. And I think right here, um, I'm gonna do the rattan low table right in front of the couch, just for some seating space. And we're gonna do a rattan table lamp in the brown just to coordinate so that we have a little bit of light here in the in the evening time so you can see when you're reading <laughs> and then in the corner i think i'm going to do something a little different i want to put an ironwood chair down um, but i'm going to use it as a table sort of i'm going to make this sort of like a little um, hangout area maybe where your your kids would hang out when you're in this at the library studying i'm going to put a board game here just trying to think of things that a person might do while they're hanging out a library. And then I'm gonna do, let's do a rocking chair. Now this is a crafted item. Um, I customized it after I crafted it in this brown color just to sort of tie it in. And then here we're gonna start working on sectioning things off a bit. Um, I'm gonna put a study desk here just to sort of give this little sitting area its own little space. I love these desks. They're so detailed and cute. They've got all the little items already on them so it, it makes it really simple. And then I'm gonna put um, another study chair here so that there's another space to sit. Then we'll put a study chair here in front of this bookshelf. I'm just trying to create spaces where people could sit. I guess I'll sort of spin that around there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's sort of like one of those things that you might either step up on the chair to look for a book or maybe you're in trouble and you're sitting facing the wall. It sort of reminds me of school when you get in trouble and you're facing the wall. I don't know. <laughs> and let's see, we'll put another floor lamp here just to sort of balance it out and give more light. And then I've got a couple of these antique console tables um, just so we can put different items on them. I was thinking of maybe putting, let's see. Let's do a laptop here just to make it look like a little study space and some book stands. Yay! <laughs> now the book stands, as you'll see, does they do come in other colors as well. This is the black, and then there's also more of a colorful version, I believe. We're gonna place a black modern office chair here, just to make it sort of look like um, a desk or a study space. And there's lots of different color versions of the modern office chair. So if you're going for more of a girly aesthetic um, with the white bookshelves, um, a pink one would look super cute in a situation like this, like a little library, make it kind of girly. 
Uh, my favorite part about this game is that you can sort of take any concept and idea like a library or anything else for that matter and just sort of put your own twist on it. You know, if you're really into pink, make it a pink library. Um, if you're into more of like the darker, um, like black tones, make it sort of a more modern look. All right, so now I've placed down, um, this is a basic teacher's desk in the gray color. I'm gonna place down this little fax machine. So if you like that's something you see in a library, <laughs> at least it was when I was a kid. Um, and then I've got this little, cute little rotary phone we're gonna put down here just to add a little pop of color. Oops, I need to back up a little bit. And then we're gonna put down another office chair, I think, too. But let's make this a little bit bigger of a desk area. Um, I'm gonna frame this in with another basic teacher's desk. We're gonna face it this way so that it's faced the right way. Although I do kind of like that desk. You can see cute little books and stuff on the other side. But for this build, I'm gonna leave it like this. Just to make it sort of, I guess, look like a little check-in area when you come in. Maybe where the librarian would sit when she checks in or checks out your books. We're going to do a desktop computer in black here just so it coordinates. And then I crafted this book stack earlier. Um, and these are actually customizable as well. I went with the different colors. Um, but there's um, one that looks more of like... Um, college books or study books and there's also one that's more of like a tan tone so if you had a cottage core style island the tan tone would look amazing um, if you were to do a library with all the the lighter natural tones that would be super cool so i placed our other modern office chair and then now i'm just sort of closing in this part of the library i'm going to use another one of these study desks i'm just going to aim it in a different direction just to sort of Give it a different angle and a different look. Um, that's another thing I love about this game is that you can literally use the same item over and over in a build, but depending on which way you face it or what angle it's at, it sort of has a different look to it. So even though this is the same desk as back there, it looks slightly different because it's drawing your eye to different, a different angle. And then here where we placed a wooden block shelf again and um, another set of the books in a different color. And I'm placing down the antique table. And then here we're gonna put down another one of our rattan table lamps. And let's go with another set of the book stands right there. Yep, I love it. We're almost done, we're getting there guys. <laughs> um, over here, okay, so I wasn't really sure what to do with this. Um, I ultimately, I kind of thought it would be cute to put a little bird cage here. I know that that might not be a typical thing you'd see in a library, but just to add a little bit of height and movement and differentiation from the rest of the items we used, I put a little bird cage there, especially since it's an outdoor library. And then here, um, I wanted to create sort of like a little book return section. Like if you were to come in, um, I know sometimes um, when I go to the library, they have a little like featured cart where they would have maybe the new releases, things like that. So I kind of wanted to create that space. And then um, on top of the ironwood cart, which is a crafted item, and I believe that's in the walnut color, the dark walnut, I put the book stands. And then just a little plant here to add a little bit of movement on the outside. And then last but not least, I crafted a tiny library. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute. I think that actually looks more like a book return to me. So we'll call that tiny library a book return. <laughs> yeah, and that's it, guys. Um, I hope you really like this. I, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, it's one of those builds that I think you can use your, your imagination, lots of different options for items, and yeah, make it your own. Do a cute library and send me a link if you do because I would love to see it, but yeah, thanks for playing with me today, guys. I really hope um, that you enjoyed the build. I'm so glad that you joined me. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.